doing? I'm Amber Downs from the Maitland Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute little jute rope basket from uh, supplies in our March Take and Make Craft Kit. Each kit will contain some jute rope and a cup. Pretty simple. So if you didn't get a kit or you live out of the area, you're welcome to just make this at home using supplies you have. You could also substitute yarn or any other ropey, stringy stuff that you've got around the house. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paper cup, you could also use a plastic cup or whatever it is you have, and we're going to cut it into strips. I'm going to go for nine even strips. Um, the, only, the only important thing here is you have an odd number, um, and you'll kind of see what that looks like shortly. Because of the way you're wrapping the rope, you're going to want to make sure you have an odd number of strips. So now we're going to take our cup and flip it inside out. So here's where if you didn't get all the way to the bottom, you can just kind of press it and that'll That'll work. And press all the way to the bottom, and then we're going to actually flip it upside down. So now we've inverted our cup. We want this to be the flat bottom that's going to go on the table. So just move those so they're flat. Perfect. Now you're going to take your rope, and you're going to tape a piece of that to what is now our bottom. lemon squeeze. So now we're ready to get started. And the way this is going to work is you're just going to weave your rope in and out between these pieces here. Now the first couple rounds around the uh, cup, it's going to look like it's not working, but just give it time and it'll kind of come together. So then we'll just weave under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And because I did an odd number of um, strips here, the next round will be the opposite around. So you're going to kind of fold those back and kind of start to give it to that shape. Again, it's not going to work perfectly to start and that's okay. Everything takes time, right? So you want to each, after each round, kind of give it a little bit of a pull to tighten up the rope from that round. And then keep going. You may want to stop and tighten every halfway around, depending on how things are going for you. And then just keep going. And like I said, it seems like it's not coming together, but it is, I promise. other weaving type things, you'll get a rhythm to it after a while. All right. You want to make sure you keep pushing it down so that it kind of is nice and tight so you don't have too much white space. As you know, the library is currently operating in express service. This means that you're welcome to come in, use the computer for a 45 minute session, browse for books, movies, audiobooks, CDs, um, whatever it is you need, maybe copy, fax. Um, we don't have any in-person programs right now. Um, we are continuing only virtual programming, but we do have our book clubs, our writing workshops, meditation, all meeting via Zoom. So those are available for you to pursue. That's all on our calendar at MaitlandPublicLibrary.org. We also have a yoga class every Friday here on Facebook Live. So that's another thing to check out and those are all stored. The um, video content is stored on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page. So this like this video and then um, those Zoom programs are available if you log in at the specified time on our calendar. I kind of push down these sections here, make it nice and tight. And then, you know, the width of this, you know, the kind of size will really be dependent on how tight you keep those. I kept this pretty loose. I think I'm gonna put a succulent in here. Um, now the only thing is I want to take it out of the container when I water it and make sure it's fully dry before I put it back in just to be safe. 
would also look cute sitting on your desk. Maybe some fake flowers or um, some pens. Or just whatever little things maybe on your vanity counter to hold some small items. Even throw some um, rocks or maybe coffee beans in there and, and hold makeup brushes. That would be cute. Here we're going to keep going until we hit the lips of these pieces here. And then stick it under that lip on the inside. And try to get one more go around here. Take your end, stick it under the slip of this cup right here, and you are good to go. Well, there you go, a super cute basket that you can use to hold a plant, makeup brushes, pencils, or whatever else you have around the house that you need a little container for. All right, have a great day. Bye, guys.